Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Photoshop, Photoshop 221, but you can use much of this in 220 and 219, etc. Other than this feature, which is pattern preview, that's only available in 221. Now I'm going to show you how to create patterns using custom shapes. And you can create them thousands of different ways. So I'm probably going to miss some, because I've done this quite a few times running through this tutorial, and every time I do it, I always do a different set. Even though I've got a list in front of me, I still forget them. I always do. I think, I didn't do that one. Okay, let's go through a few of them. Now I'm just going to come out of this because I don't want this design here. So I'm just going to remove, don't save. Let's start from the beginning. Here is a fresh document and it's obviously got a white background. I've created a white background and I'm going to use the old style, the way I would create patterns before 221. So go over here to custom shape. Now you can use custom shape tool with shapes, and pixels, as well as paths. Path is useful, but maybe not so useful for creating patterns since it's just a line. But you can, of course, add brush strokes, etc., to it if you want. So what you can do, you can go, I'm gonna go for, say, pixels. Pixels first. That's just a very straightforward, just adds the design and you can't manipulate it afterwards. This sort of destructive effect. So just add that design. And now I'm using, see, white back. You can also, use transparent backgrounds. And that's probably better, but I just want to show you initially with a white background. So I've just create that. Simply edit and define pattern. That's it. You've created your first pattern using a custom shape. Simple as that. Of course, you can change the custom shapes, a whole variety of different custom shapes, some that come with Photoshop, some obviously you can import from legacy ones from previous versions, as well as, of course, your own shapes, ones you find on the web, etc. And of course, you can create more complex ones than that. I've just got a very basic design. You can change the color. So change the color there. Change the shape. And go with different shapes and a variety. And of course, you can squeeze them, make them thin, whatever. So there's a variety of different designs. Once you've done that, again, edit and define pattern. Now, I'm not going to do that every time. Edit, define pattern. Just, I'm creating a pattern. That's what you need to do. Edit and define pattern. Very simple, but however, of course, this doesn't look very good actually as a pattern. I think it's probably not the world's great pattern at all. What you can use, very useful, is filter and other and offset. And then what you can do, it will offset this design. So it means you've got some area to work with. You can look at the patterns and you can set the value, mine, I've got here 400 minus five. Vary it, try different things, how you want to shift around. The key thing is wrap around. That's the key thing. And also what you've got, obviously you've got optional here, a filter and offset, if you've still got that as the last used filter. So you've got that. What you can then do is, of course, add some more shapes to that area. If you want to build it up, more complex design, again, varying the color like that. And you can overlap, of course, create all kinds of different designs, and again, edit and define pattern. What you can also do is, of course, you can apply, do the same with shapes as well. So you can go here, Edit and shape, and I'm just going to change the color. So I'll go for maybe blue, so you can see it a bit better. There, you've got this design here, and you can hold down the Alter Option key, duplicate design, do that, and then you can also apply effects, of course. Layer, go to layer style, maybe bevel emboss. Quickly add that. Just a very basic setting there, depth in the bevel. Click OK. And again, hold down the Alter Option key and move that around. And then again, edit and define pattern. Or if you want, now if you're going to do, I would suggest if you're going to do an offset, go to the layer menu and flatten image. Now go to offset and you can see it's offset. And again, this the reason I'm doing an offset is you avoid, avoid going over the edge, unless you want breaks in the design. If you go create a pattern and you just, you will end up getting cut off. Now this is still seamless. This matches down here. So this will not have any cuts. Likewise, this matches up here. You can see that design there. That's the reason why I'm using the offset. It just moves them slightly. And you can do this over and over again, create all kinds of complex designs. And of course, if you avoid going over the edge, so just go here, just gonna create this design again. What you can do is you can apply effects to it. So you can go to a layer, smart objects, convert to smart object, so it becomes a smart object. And then you can say, go to, oops, three, you could use 3D as well. What you can do is say blur, Gaussian blur, and you can see you can apply a blur. As long as you avoid going over the edge, it doesn't matter. 
and again edit and define pattern so you can define that as a pattern as well using that now personally I always prefer to go to edit file and new I go to transparent that's the key thing background contents transparent so just that's at any document size click create so now I've got a transparent background and again what you can do you can use either shape or pixels perfectly reasonable as well select a different custom shape and I'm using those and these are graphic extras ones you can use any of them there obviously any shapes you've got and again you can still do exactly the same as before so filter other and offset you can see that offset there and you can vary it you don't have to use that you can just move it around and you think oh you know what I want to change the color there so make it dark and then create that and create there and you can over top let's make that white and so on and so on. so you can build up all levels of complexity design again edit and define pattern and of course then you can use it the thing is the difference between the white background if you've got white background trouble is white background it means you have to use like blending modes to overlap designs because you just can't see through because you've got that white it just will so if you do multiple layers it's really useful to have a transparent background so what you can do then layer and you can go down there to new fill layer and pattern click ok obviously defaults to dots instead of there and then select that one and you can see your design there obviously I haven't changed the size the scale so 50% and you can see then you can move it around and you can create all kinds of different patterns like that and of course because it's transparent let's go to layers over here window and layers you've got two layers now what you can do you can always duplicate that so you can duplicate layer click OK or hold down the alter option key and you can still then double click on there you can still modify the pattern maybe change the size 25 still moving around and so and so on so you can build up very complex designs by just using this approach now of course just shown with that what you can do you can also go here to the custom shape tool select obviously different custom shape nice to show a few examples of different designs what you can do pixels you can use blending modes so you can go over here say instead of that I'm just going to go for difference and obviously I'm not going to use that I'm just going to use yellow and you've got that design and then what you can do you can add another one it will be added with difference you can see you can build up quite a complex design and again you can still use offset there and of course you can change your color you can change your opacity as well so you don't have to have that you can go for maybe set there like that so you can change variety create all kinds of very abstract designs like that and again still edit and define pattern like that okay, okay. and still of course you can still use offset you can still also use shape and do the same as well so you've got the shape design there you can go to layers you've got darken you can use opacity and the thing is with that which is the good thing about these shapes is of course they're vector designs so as vector designs what you can do you can modify them and depending on which one you set oh there is now your toolbar may be completely different from mine because I've customized it you can customize it here so I've got my direct selection tool. I'm always ending up looking for that, I'm thinking, because it looks very similar to that one, similar-ish. You don't want that one. And what, what you want is the direct selection tool. And then you can select the points and you can manipulate points. So you can create different designs very quick and easy. And of course, also you've got other options. Go down here, curved tool, and you can just select there and you can manipulate it even more. So the design you've got there, you can create and you can add additional points very quick and easy like that right very abstract and pull that over there now avoid again going over the edge that's the key thing for creating the pattern to, unless you want to sort of breaks in your image you can just go over like that now I would suggest lay it and flatten because sometimes when you do use offset sometimes yeah things don't work as well as you think so I always find it's easier just to flatten the design so then go back to the custom check there it is custom shape tool maybe select a different one and you can see you can build up a lot of complexity in your design and again you've got this there and you can always change it again layers and go to different blending modes maybe difference 
and you can combine that. Again, avoid going over the edges, but you can make it as big as you want. And again, go to direct selection tool there, and you can manipulate that or use the good old curvature tool. And there it is there. I like the curvature tool feature that's in Illustrator, very, very useful for manipulating all kinds of different parts. So you can tweak it and sort it like that. And then once you're happy with your design, again, what you do, layer and flatten image, and then edit and define pattern. And again, you've got your design, which you of course can then use in edit and fill and so on and so on. Now, the one thing when you flatten, you'll notice here, you've ended up just getting white background. So you want to avoid that, maybe it's probably best to just not you. So that is a slight complication in that. So what I'm going to do now, undo, let's go all the way back. That's actually probably best. Let's go to file and new. Create. What you can also do, you can use, this is a great thing about shapes, unlike with pixels. What you can do with shapes, you can go here to the custom shape tool. You can turn around and say, well, I don't want to fill. What I want is a stroke. There. And you can set the size. So you can just set it like that. And you can see, now I'm using obviously black, red there, but you can use any color and you can create all kinds of different designs. And of course you can vary the size as well. It doesn't have to be like that. All right, a couple of times. And then of course what you can do, you can always go to filter and offset. Again, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. I've found problems with it sometimes. It just seems to cut it off. So I've always tried, generally I'm always a bit However, you can create all kinds of different designs like this. And again, one thing is, of course, you can resize, you can rotate. Again, always avoid going over the edge. So you've got that. And then, of course, edit and define pattern. And again, you can also, of course, use good old. So let's go to another document. Close that. Don't save. Ooh, don't save. Don't save. File a new. Right. What you can do now, and this is in 221, you can also use the great, wonderful pattern preview. So view and down to pattern preview. Again, I've still always comes up, love that sort of thing. Where it always basically use smart object. To be honest, I find more problems with smart objects than with normal objects, but sometimes it does go slightly weird where it cuts bits off. So, so again, custom shape tool. Let's go for a different set of custom shape now. Embellishments there. Okay. That's another one that sets of design. So what you can do, and I find this much easier to use, so you can just use this. Now I'm obviously using it with that, I don't want that anymore. So fill, let's go for a color there. And you can add to that design. And you can see now if I go out, so hold down the alt. Now you can see that design repeated. Now this is only in 221, this is a new feature. But the thing is, it's really good because it's obviously live. All this is a preview, this doesn't exist. You know, it looks like it exists, it doesn't exist. So you can rotate that design and do things like that. And again, you can still, if you want to manipulate it, use direct selection tool, all those sorts of things. You can resize, you can stretch. Now you'll notice it does get a bit quirky. I'm crossing over there and it's suddenly getting gaps. Not really what you expect. So there are odd, odd features in it. Don't know why it does that. And you can also, of course, still use the other one as well. So if you want to, let's just undo that. Oops, view. Sometimes it's quite easy to go back too far. Now, pattern preview is just, you it will stay on or not. The undo, for some weird reason, includes the pattern preview request in it, which I find slightly odd. But anyway, because I don't think it's really a sort of uh, thing that should be. What you can do, you can use shapes, but you can also use pixels. So if you want to, you can simply apply it like that. And again, because I've got it opacity, set the opacity there, difference. Let's just make it normal again. And you can see now occasionally it does overlap and it goes wrong. So it's probably it's one of those ones you really have to look at. There are quirks in this, it's not perfect running stretch. But again, you can vary this colour there, and you can work on the outside as well. You don't have to you can work over here. As long as you know where relatively where you're working, it doesn't matter. It will just add it all over the whole design. So you've got your pattern design there, edit and define pattern again. And of course, then you can use it in layer and you can go down to new fill layer and pattern again as before. 
And of course, one thing you can also do, let's go and do those. You can also go there and use it as shape. You can use smart objects. Smart objects are really good. Did that again too. Make it too big, it just cuts over there a bit. So layer and smart objects convert to smart object. And the thing about smart objects is that you can of course still go over here to layers. And you can still edit it. So if you want to, just double click there, that little thumbnail there, and you can then edit your custom shape. So it's still at live. However, what you can now do, you can also go to layer and layer start, add Bev and Boss if you want, but you can also go to filters and you can go to blur, Gaussian blur say, and then you can blur it. And of course, what you can do, you can hold down the alter option key and you can duplicate it. So you get this design as well, a nice blurred design. But if you don't want that, of course, you can always remove it. So you can just get rid of that. Maybe go for filter, and I'm not gonna go for liquify since liquify seems to dislike me at the moment. Uh, it seems to crash every time I use liquify. I don't, not every time, but quite a few times it seems to fall over. Not certain why, twirl. You can also see there are clearly issues. That's why I get slightly what's name when it comes up and says, please use smart objects. Well, clearly there's an issue there. Still slightly make. However, if you keep it inside, and then let's go to filter and twirl. Yeah, so it works okay if it's inside. Now, of course, let's just drag it out. Now it works. Isn't that weird? There's some, there are some odd things. So it doesn't work when you're, there's quirks in this. It's not perfect by any stretch, I don't know. And then you can resize it. And you'll notice it, see it cuts it off again. So you, it's, if you don't want to do any work in it, it's always best to do the work inside the pattern preview, then take it out to the outside. If you take it, do it outside, it seems to fail. So that's just my observation on that pattern preview feature. However, what else? Well, I've got a little list here of things I've probably forgotten something. Just go, yeah, I think I've gone through virtually everything I can think of in terms of patterns. I'm certain there's probably hundreds more things. You'll probably turn around and say, well, why didn't you do this or do that? Of course you can. You can, of course, just suddenly thought of something. Just then, as I've said it, go to File and New. And I quite, did this quite a lot, actually. Transparency again. So I've got a transparent background. And I'm going to use this, trans, this pattern preview. Okay. What you can do, go to custom shape, and I'm not going to use shape, I'm going to use pixels. But I'm going to use channels. So window and channels. What you can then do, you can go to red, and you can go over here, and I'm just going to set it to see colour like that. So you've got a bit of and what you can do in the red channel, I can apply it like that. Unless it doesn't doesn't want to. Okay, obviously pattern preview does not work with channels. <laughs> How odd. There's, there's some, definitely some quirks to that pattern preview. Learn something every day on that one. So pattern preview, most strange. Red. No, doesn't work on pattern preview. Hmm. Anyway, I think that's run through all of the things I can think of with custom shapes and creating pattern designs. I say there might be some more things. Maybe there's some things that actually... Maybe I should put a bug report in on this one because that seems like it should really work. Doesn't make any sense why it doesn't. But anyway, I'm always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, and many, many other applications, of course. Also, adding them all the time. So please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. So uh, also, some comments. Things that I did wrong. Maybe things that I did right. Also, maybe explain why it doesn't work with chat channels. <laughs> Very strange. That's the first time I've tried channels for a long time, so I suddenly thought, oh, it might work with that. Clearly it doesn't. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.